Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Solasta with me, Bring It On. Let's return to Brock. Nyark friends, you convinced the tribes? Bad news. Urka was corrupted by the Gax. Urka? Big mind like him? I saw him. Like crazy. The Gax can do this. Hmm. Maybe Arok is back too? It doesn't matter now. We need to take the fight to him. But Sandraven? You choose a chief for them, and they follow you. Hmm. Meet us near Red Scar Gate. Okay, but first, let's level up. I believe this is level 9. So I must max level. Level hit points. Proficiency bonus increased to plus 4. Affects all attacks, saving throws, skill, and tool checks, and spell difficulty checks. Uh, Paladin spellcasting save difficulty checks increased to 16. Spell attacks increased to plus 8. And we get one, or sorry, two third level spell slots. Cleric gets 11 hit points, same proficiency bonus increase, and same spell casting increases, but he gets uh, one fourth level spell slot and one fifth level spell slot. Ranger gets 9 hit points, same proficiency bonus, and less spell casting bonuses, only 15 to save difficulty checks and plus 7 to spell attack. Uh, two third level spell slots and one spell to select. We'll grab Conjure Animal. I've been to use that on my wizard, just haven't got around to it yet because Summon Elemental is so good, so. Alright, six hit points on the wizard. Same proficiency bonus, uh, same spell casting increases as a cleric and paladin. He gets one fourth level spell slot and one fifth level spell slot, and two spells to select. What should I grab? All these seem pretty good. So Cloud Kill creates an obscuring and poisonous cloud. The cloud moves every round. Cone of Cold inflicts massive cold damage in the Cone of Effect. Conjure Elemental. Conjures an elemental of the chosen element that fights alongside you. If you lose concentration, the element uh, remains and becomes hostile. Contagion. Hit a creature to inflict a disease from the options. Dominate Person. Grants you control of an enemy creature. Hold Monster. Paralyzes a creature unless it succeeds a Wisdom saving throw. No effect on Undead. Insect Plague summons a sphere of biting insects. Then Mind Twist. Uh, causes massive psychic damage to hostile creatures around you and incapacitates them if they fail their intelligence saving throw. Hmm. I'm interested in this for the crowd control. So Black Tentacles controls Black Tentacles that restrain and damage creatures within the area of effect. I'm going to grab that. And I guess more Elementals. He's going to prepare his spells as well. Let's see. I need two heals. So Contagion, the wizard has to spell evil and good. Celestial, Elementals, Fey, Fiends, and Undead have disadvantage on attacks against you. Uh, the spell also allows you to cancel hostile enchantments or dismiss extra planar creatures hit by your attacks once. Uh, flame Strike conjures a burning column of fire and radiance affecting all creatures inside. I'll probably grab that. Uh, domain spells are Hold Monster and Insect Plague, both of which my wizard have. Greater Restoration removes one detrimental condition such as Charm or Curse or an effect that reduces an ability score or hit points. Mass Cure Wounds heals up to six creatures and then Raise Dead brings one creature back to life up to ten days after death. I'm going to grab Flame Strike. I like the offensive options. I guess that's it. Might grab tongues just so I can try and read that note. Let's just go and do that. All 
Alright, so he doesn't need Bless if my Cleric has it, or Cure Wounds because we have Lay on Hands. So Domain Spells, Dispel Magic, and Revivify. We have Remove Curse, Create Food, and Daylight. I think everybody has a magic weapon, so this is useless to me. So I guess I'll just keep um, Cure Wounds on hand. So I don't need anything else. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh... Oh, okay. So let's cast Tongues real fast. Alright, all this for this paragraph. We've been waiting to read this for so long. We found out that this priest of Messiah, Messiah, Nell, has has the magical sword I was talking about. This bunch of council deputies uh, seem to be after it too. So maybe they'll get their hands on it. Maybe they will get their hands on it, yeah. If that happens, you know what to do. <laughs> no big secret there. But I'm glad it's done. <laughs> Swap him back to his sword and shield. Really want to find him a better hammer, but I don't think we have another recipe besides that the, um... Mace of Smashing, which ended up being a huge disappointment. Ah. Oh wait, before I do anything. Oh uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go through. And then I'll cast Divine Fortitude and Mage Armor. Valued comrade. Yeah, I should probably cast that on Kebra instead. That's fine. Where are the guards? Surrendered. What? So afraid of Arok, they joined us already. No big speech then? No, but door still closed. Do you see that? The door? No, there is a power. I think, though, with the crown. We might be able to enter. It's a trap. Arok wants us in there alone. Do we have a choice? How does he even know they were... Well, I mean, no, take that back. A lot of orcs have seen us. I'm sure someone's reported to him that we're here. He wants the other uh, gems for himself. Oh, I'm trying to quick save. Ah, Gebrav Suncloud. You walk with Nyarks. Shame on you. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're finished, Arok. Give us the stone. <laughs> Funny, Nyark. No. You give me yours. Looks like you killed your tribe all by yourself. Useless worms. Arok needs no orcs. Arok is fire. Arok is Volcano! Alright, so what are we going to do first? Um...
what's the point of casting as a fifth level spell? I don't know. I don't think I need to do that. I'm gonna keep these guys busy with my elementals. Alright, standard buffs my paladin, sacred weapon, and divine favor. Then go stand beside this guy. We've seen them do that before. Granted, we've only fought Fire Ospreys one other time, so. Endured worse. Maybe I just missed it. Oh, we failed! Lost concentration on the elementals. I don't see what he cast. Ah, because it's not bored. All right. Here and ah. Ah. Right, hey there, Kebra. The rocks are like half health. More. Yeah, I think the hardest part of this fight is going to be keeping the NPCs alive because they're both down to half. Jeez. Megan take out the adds, and then we'll focus on Arak with my Paladin. If I get a haste on him, he should finish him in one one turn, I guess. Well, more coming your way. We do about 50 damage per attack, which I think is very doable. We're gonna haste my Paladin for big burst damage on his next turn. Also, I'm going to use his third attack. <laughs> the elementals are gone. I'm going to cast slow. Alright, sweet. <laughs> of course, I roll a one. Try again. That's <laughs> <laughs> not a bad round. All things considered. She's on fire, so let's take care of that. Getting ward herself. Get her down here behind cover with Brock. Try and keep him alive. Yeah, of course, go ahead and smite him. 
<laughs> Where's he running off to? Ooh! I do a couple of things here. Um, I guess we'll try and stun this guy. Well struck. Try it again. We can only do it once per turn. Never mind. Taking fire damage. I don't know why. No quarter given. I try to keep you alive as well. Countered Ray of Frost. Okay. <laughs> what a huge waste of that spell. Ah. It's just trying to show off. Ah. Let's have him disengage. All the way back here where it's nice and safe. I was lethargic. Okay, well that's super annoying. She's down, but we can revive her at the end. Lucky? Perhaps. I wanted my paladin to get the kill, but my paladin was lethargic, so he didn't get a turn. Which led to, um... Kepper going down. <laughs> Still standing, huh? Alright, take care of that. Ha! Take that, you feet! By rolling a 20. Let's have her scoot back so she's not getting a disadvantage on her rolls. And take care of this guy. Twenty-three damage from the uh, spirit Ooh. guardians. Right, it's a bit of overkill, I think. But Keep them coming. Good riddance. Is that gem more powerful than the others? 
Orc shamans wield a very peculiar type of magic. The gem must have been some sort of catalyst. Well, we have it now. Let's move before this place blows up. Let's make sure I grab the loot first before I do anything else. So we got a quarter staff. Some money, a circlet, and primordial lava stones. Is that all that there is to grab in here? That's what it looks like. That's pretty neat. <laughs> the paladins over there showing off his athleticism. Why everybody else is going around? <laughs> All right. All right, another resounding success. Probably the hardest fight we've had in a while, uh, mostly because the NPCs were getting demolished by Aerok. That was close. What do you think happened to our orc friends? You mean yours? They're no friends of mine. Burned, dead, who cares? They seem more civilized than I expected. Next time we run into some, you can tell them that. All right. Let's get out of here. It's not safe. That's it? All the orcs are just dead? Double check to make sure that I did check all of these. Was there more acid in there? I thought I grabbed the acid out of that. Maybe I didn't. Hold on. Am I going to die if I fast travel inside of that? Well, let's quick save and find out, I guess. Oh, darn. Okay, it's blocked. Well, that's where I grabbed the acid out of the acid pool. Dwarven Thicket. Such athleticism. So we do have another main quest. I don't know if it's worth going back to Care Kiflin to see if there's any side quests. Uh, not yet. Actually, let's do this first. Before I forget. And you know what? Let's go ahead and equip some special arrows as well. Start using those after we run out of... Um, or depending on the fight. Yeah, so I guess we just get to Lava Force now. It's closer than anything else anyway. I'm pretty sure I read this description already, but if not... Now this place is a typical Badlands area, where the greenest nature neighbors rivers of lava and sulfur pits. Oh. Alright, finally finished some crafting, which means... Oh, no, never mind, we don't have the rapier. Shoot.
Warmongers, but three veterans and an unknown creature. It's like a face mask. Or is that a full on helmet? Looks like the hair is sticking outside, so I think it's just a mask. Still looks cool. Oh no, that's a helmet. Oh, it's the uh, the plume. That's really cool. That's not great. Alright, just to get him back here. Oh, I see what you're made of. Oh, I that tough. A fine stroke. Hey, these guys are nothing, like, nothing like the elementals. But I think it is a lower level spell, isn't it? I have to check. But maybe at least I'll suck up a few hits, I guess. Uh, so she's another fighter, second wind. So it looks like she's using a plus one shield, so if she dies, I guess we get that off her body as well. Be good for my paladin or my ranger. You suck! <laughs> She's talking to an enemy this time. Or was it... Oh no, maybe it was my spider. You know what? I might just have her hold the line here. I don't have to. Let's move over here instead. Try to take care of this guy. Come on! At least that's a few less attacks coming my direction. Good enough for me. Try again. Uh, I'm gonna try again. The same roll. That's twice it's happened. She got the same roll twice, and then he got the same roll twice. I think I'm just gonna use Spirit Guardians here to get some guaranteed damage in. I think I saved reducing the damage by half, so she would have taken 34 us? damage from Spirit Guardians there. That's a lot of damage. Well, I got a little bit more value out of those guys than I thought that I was going to. Ow! The rate this guy's hitting anyway. No! Wait till the next one. Huh? 
Slow going. This is some very tanky obvious to be fighting on the road like this. If we get a plus one shield out of it though, I think that is very worthwhile. Oh, I need to identify the stuff we got off of Aerox's body as well. The quarter staff and the uh, headband. Then there was one. Yeah. Yeah. One less. Enemy. <gasps> A warlord. All right. Let's see if we get that plus one shield out of the deal. Uh, I got plate armor. Diamonds, some ingredients, a bronze crown. Is this just for selling? Yeah, just for selling. I don't see the shield. I mean, the armor's there that she was wearing. But not the shield. That's, that's weird. Huh, and a little disappointing. Alright, so what all did we get? Start with the Magnificent Quarterstaff. Probably just a Quarterstaff plus one. Oh, Quarterstaff plus two. Still not going to use it. Uh, I'd rather him have the Soul Drinker Dagger. He's the only person that I would give the Quarterstaff to in the first place. So. This magical Quarterstaff has been enchanted by Sylvan Wizards using a Blood Gem. Circlet of Blasting. <laughs> Sounds silly. Alright, what's it do? Cast Scorching Ray, one charge. Oh, we can buy this from the Antiquarians too. So, showy trinket created by Lanathir Goldenfire to impress primitive folks during the first expansion. It doesn't need to be attuned. Good. Then, uh, our wizard gets some. What's this golden key for? A golden key of incredible complexity crafted by the Clockmasters of the Manicolon Empire. Alright, so we use this to get inside of the... That one door where Aroch was, I think. Because there weren't any other doors in that place that we couldn't get inside of. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the only one that we couldn't access. Alright. Uh, let's give this to him. Alright, have a ball, man. I guess we also don't have any primed short bows either. That sucks. I think that's all the magical stuff that I had, right? Just looking back through real fast, making sure. Still can't read the Tome of Understanding. Still upset about that. Yeah, I think that was it. Alright, let's finish our rest. Just a long night, which means we can craft something else. Alright, 
the cleric will make poisons and the wizard will make poison arrows. So that way if I do forget to give them to Megan, he can use them instead. Alright, welcome to the Lava Forest. A lot of lava this, this far west. Alright, I'm going to call the episode here. Next one we'll begin exploring the Lava Forest and see if we can't find the next gem for the crown. Actually, what does the other gem do for us? Before I forget. So plus it was saving throws against evocation spells. Do I get any other castings of anything? Kind of lame I don't get fireball or something. I just have the effects that I've had all along. That's lame. Alright, well, either way, gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.